Hey everyone, uh, this is a continued video of the last video that I did, uh, which was actually for uh, Bunch Delete, was uh, the last video before that, and uh, the last video is actually for was for uh, Bunch Insert. So here I have my uh, Firebase, and you can actually see that um, I have, uh, for example, we'll take uh, the collections that is named orders and we can punch and delete everything uh, in this collection. So if I insert a new a new uh, document, so let's say it doesn't matter which what it says here because we'll delete it. Then you can see I have one document and let's insert one more. So let's insert one more over here. Okay, so I have two documents. Now if I go back, you can see it over here. Uh, yeah, it's not the best, but you can see it over here. This is the orders. And when I click punch delete, now both will be deleted. You can see it. It's there gone. And then if I click punch insert, you should be able to see three uh documents that we're going to be inserted so if i click over here you can see the three documents and then i here uh, it showed the first document uh, which is the name is orders 10 and then if i click over here single updates or insert if i click this button i will uh, singly update or insert uh, a document so this is this is the video uh, what we are going to uh, talk about. So if this exists, uh, it will update it, uh, and this is the same button. But if it doesn't exist, it will update it or insert it. So if I click this button over here, you can see that it's created a new document because this document doesn't exist, and in this case, this document actually exists. I will show you how I did that. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is that we have a bunch update or insert. And if I click this button over here, you can see it's actually updating those documents over here. So if I probably make it a little bit smaller, so I can move this around like this probably. And then if I go over here and I can click bunch update or insert, you can see that all those documents are updated. Like if I click this button, this, for example, order ID, uh, in this case, it's just putting a random name, uh, but you get idea. So if I go back over here, this is my uh, project and uh, I, can, I can show you how I did it. So first thing first, let me show you the setup of the page. So I have a bunch delete. Everything it's running a custom actions. So it's this is a custom action. This is another custom action. This is another custom action. And this is another custom action. And this is another custom action. I will actually show all of the custom actions. Um, but let let's see first how this page is set up. So first I have the I query the orders. So if I go over here. It's just a simple query of the orders. I don't have any filters. I don't have any order by. Uh, so this is get it. This should get all the documents of the all the order documents. Or I think there is. A, I'm not sure, but I think there is a limitation of only get the first ten. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure about the Firebase as I'm using. Normally I will use an Apico, uh, but um, but yeah, you can. You can you can take all the orders documents, and then if I go over here in a container inside the container, uh, I sh I'm sh I'm actually getting a single uh, document. So I'm just getting a single document over here because I'm actually using it uh, inside this button over here. So if I go over here. Uh, I have the field, so for example, this field, 
will be uh, the first field will be I will put a random name the second field will be the date and I'll put the current date and the third field will be the ID uh, or the name and this will be uh, it says just just says custom action and the collection name it's orders and then here it says document reference so the document reference is the reference of the document uh, to simply say the document reference is actually this over here so this path over here is actually the document reference um, of the document so if you just copy and paste this this is actually the document reference uh, and if I go back let me just click over here. So this is the document reference. This document reference is actually coming from orders, which is coming from the container. Uh, why I'm doing that? I'm doing that because I only need one, or I can do it like other ways as well. I can take one order from this query over here, but I'm querying one more time. Maybe this is not the efficient way. Maybe the efficient way it's only take uh, the one document that you need and then put it over here and then uh, and then you can update it uh, so what about what about inserting it uh, so in, in, in reality uh, you should have uh, a document reference and you should actually check if this document reference already exists or not so if I go over here uh, if you want to update a specific document let's say if I go over here and let's say that if I go here document reference so let's say that I want to update this specific document reference so if I copy this one and place it over here place enter uh, I should see that I don't have any document reference uh, with this document now uh, so I have to instant it, uh, I have to instant reload because this uh, test session will uh, will close if I don't instant reload it. And then if I go over here, you can see the document reference right now. It's taken from the local state. So you can see local state order ref. So this is getting it from over here. Document reference. You can see it over here. So if I go back and if I go to the test mode, bunch and uh, this is actually uh i was not getting the names for it in the buttons for any reasons uh for for whatever reason uh i made two videos without a text but then i uh got the problem the problem was actually because i didn't i enabled actually the, the translations and i didn't put the text so this is a common problem when you enable the translations and i just did it for uh, for a testing and I forgot to uh, disable it so that's why I get uh, non-text here but let's go back to this button so if I go over here and you can actually see the documents there are four documents if I click this button over here you should be able to create a new document why it's creating a new, new, new sorry why it's creating a new document because it's actually checking if this document already exists so the how the whole idea is that it's going over here uh, it's taking this document reference it's checking that is there a document reference with this document and then it says no it, there there isn't so that's why it's creating a new document so it's checking if there is a new do if there is this document then update it if there is not then uh, uh, then you can actually uh, create it but we can actually go to how to uh, to create a new document in here we can have a name and date and this date will be uh, timestamp will be wherever date and time and then this one will be order ID for example and uh, some order ID so let's see if I have so the the field should be uh, should be equal so date name and order ID date name and order ID and if I go back over here now and if I click this button you can see that only change this ID because I already have it you can see it over here it's only change it here because I already have it I already have this document ID so it's changed 
uh, with this document ID. If I change the document ID, if I go over here and change the document ID uh, to something else, for example, let's say this would be two, let's put two at the end and then go over here and then click on this. This Now we should I should create a new document because I don't have this document with this ID. Let's click it over here and of course I need to instant reload it because if I don't instant reload it uh, the code will not uh, uh, the, the, the changes will be not uh, represented to my uh, test mode so if I go to batch uh, so if I, in the meantime while it's loading let me show you the actual code uh, the actual code, if I go over here, uh, let's show you uh, the bunch delete first. Uh, I already showed that and already explained it, so I will not go into more details about it. The bunch insert documents is this one. So this is going to bunch update uh, a number of documents. We already, I've already made a video about it as well. And then this is a bunch update or insert a document so when you go over here uh, you can actually have this uh, this one it's a list of uh, of fields uh, so you can have a list of fields and this will be updated all the documents in your uh, in your um, in your collection so if I go over here if I click this should now create a new document if I click over here you can see the new document is created. Why it's created with the new uh, ID? It's created with the new ID uh, because uh, it's uh, we didn't say to create with the same ID. We can we can do that, or we uh, or in this case we're not doing it. So if I go over here, which it says uh, we can bunch update or insert a new document a list of documents or we can update or insert a new document so this is basically the same the only difference is that we have a for loop here uh, so we're looping through all the documents the document reference sorry and here uh, we only have one document reference so let's talk about this uh, case as as i said uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, the same code so if you if you understand this code you understand uh, the other code as well. Uh, so first thing first, you have to uh, exclude it from uh, compilation, and then uh, you get uh, you get the no safety checks. The here it's the date. Now it's the no safety check. This is an empty string, and this is an empty string, and this is an empty string because those all all three are strings. And the last one is document reference. So in order to create a note, note check for document reference, you need uh, Firebase, that instance, that doc, and then the link of the document, the actual document reference. In this case, it's just a random uh, bunch of numbers and letters. Uh, but this is, as I said, this is like, this is an, another example of a document reference. And then if I go over here, here you get the reference to the database. Uh, so this will be a Firestore and this will be the reference to the collection. The collection is actually you get the collection from the parameter, which in this case it's collection name. And here uh, we get the document. So the document we can get it from create orders, uh, uh, create orders record data. So the only thing that you need to change here is this over here so if your uh, if your collection is called uh, products for example this should be products with a capital uh, p and if it's called uh, users then this would be with a capital u so users with a capital u and then this the rest is the same uh, and yeah the, the other the only other thing that you need to change is actually the fields so if you have fields name date or an order id it's okay but if you have uh, some other fields let's say that uh, you have for example email you have to change this to email so you can have like email date and name and you the only the only other thing that so this is the this is the only line 
that you have to change in order this to work. And then we go over here, which is uh, check if the document with a given order ID already exists in the collection. So we are checking in if these documents already exist uh, with the ID that we supplied from here. So the ID is coming from this parameter. And then we get the actual document. And then here we're checking if the document actually exists. And if it if the document exists, we're only updating uh, the document. And if document doesn't exist, else if the document doesn't exist, we're actually adding the document. So this is how this is how we are doing it. Now we are not adding it with the same ID uh, because uh, we didn't. Uh, made it uh, the codes to add it with the same ID, the document reference that we are trying to find. Um, but let me know if you need, if you want me, I can show you another, make another video of how you can actually do it and add it with the same UID. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is the only thing that you need to change. If I go over to fire uh, store, this is the uh, orders and this is, those are the uh, those are the fields that I have, but I, in my case, I only uh, use those three fields. If you want to add a new one, applied, for example, uh, this you can add it. Uh, like uh, you can just add it here, applied, and then you can say field four, and this you have to add another add to another parameter and then you can add it over there uh, and then you can add it over here sorry and then uh, yeah so this is how you actually bunch update and insert a document so if document doesn't exist then insert it add it and if this document's already there then update it uh, using the document reference so thanks very much for watching if you have any questions let me know. Thanks. Bye.